The global mission of Telix is that nuclear medicines really come of age, and these technologies need to be available to patients everywhere. All of our products have an imaging and a therapeutic component, and what that means is that uh, we get to see the full extent of the disease from, a, from your toes to your nose in the patient, and then we get to decide how to dial in the therapy um, optimally for that patient's disease burden. It doesn't matter if it's a surgical intervention or a pharmaceutical intervention or a radiopharmaceutical intervention, that should all be treated as a theranostic concept. Elucix is a product that has come to market in the last year that has really changed the way both radiologists and urologists manage their urological prostate cancer patients. Uh, it's an idea whose time has come and has really revolutionized the imaging part of how we diagnose and treat prostate cancer patients. There are several different PSMA PET tracers that are now available in the United States. There are two that utilize F18 and um, different versions that utilize gallium 68 in the clinic as we're assessing a patient for initial staging, um, as well as for biochemical recurrence. Uh, the ability to localize PSMA with PSMA PET uh, has major advantages over CT, bone scan, and MRI, mostly because of improvements in sensitivity and specificity. But I think it's important to know, are we dealing with something that is localized, one place in the body, wherever it is, or a small number of areas versus widely distributed throughout the body and PSMA PET has the greatest ability to determine that compared to old-fashioned conventional imaging. We received approval for ELO6 first in Australia, followed shortly by United States, and then thereafter in Canada, and we are seeking regulatory approval in other jurisdictions, including Europe, South America, and Japan. The availability of Lucix is widespread across the U.S. Our distribution system is unique and very reliable in that we use over 200 points of distribution so that in each state and every suburban and urban area, we have availability for AM doses, PM doses, and STAT doses. One nice thing about companies such as Telix that have both diagnostics as well as therapeutics uh, in the pipeline um, we could really take advantage of their Gnostics with imaging agents as well as therapeutics around the same target, whether that is for prostate cancer, kidney cancer, gliomas, or other. We have received really exciting data this year around our Zircon trial, our phase three. The Zircon trial is to investigate zirconium labeled gerontuximab, an antibody that has high specificity to CA9, and CA9 expression is highly expressed in renal cancers, particularly clear cell renal carcinoma, which makes up the majority of renal cancers. This is a international multi-site trial across nine countries, enrolling 300 patients, 33 sites. And the exciting data is that we have met our primary endpoints of sensitivity and specificity, and this potentially could change the practice of medicine. We've got a pretty good start in urology and neurologic oncology, but there's so many other cancers that would benefit from targeted radiation approaches, both diagnostically and therapeutically. So we have pretty ambitious plans for our pipeline. We see the industry growing overall. There's lots of new and innovative companies coming out there. So it's exciting to see the explosion of activity in this space. Telix uh, engages in a lot of collaborations with, with other companies. We develop products from preclinical all the way through the clinical development stage and even you know commercial stage products as well which gives us the ability to advance and add value to compounds at almost any stage of development so we we bring in new compounds either the preclinical stage or clinical stage and that gives us additional uh, radio theranostic options to to develop and we're constantly searching for new products to bring into our pipeline. I think that the ultimate goal is really to improve the outcome of patients with various diseases, including prostate cancer. And, you know, I think that with different, um, different backgrounds, different levels of expertise, we can more rapidly develop these diagnostic therapeutics to help patients in the clinic now. Well, I think we need to move away from treating cancer as a lump and moving to treating cancer as a, as a well-understood and well-characterized biology. 
And that's what Theranostics really do. They allow you to explore and understand the extent of the disease and then tailor the therapeutic options precisely to that individual patient.